Now, uh, let me go through this, the tree analogy. Uh, this is something that uh, I uh, came out with. I'm comparing uh, research with a tree, OK? Uh, so that's how I put it, uh, basically. Um, a tree uh, consisted of many things, right? If you have a tree where the root is very strong, but the body is not strong, the body, the tree will not stand. And if the tree body is very strong, but the roots are weak, uh, the tree again will not stand, OK? And then uh, if the roots are strong, body is strong, and then no fruits, uh, so then there's no value of the tree. So in a research, I'm comparing uh, with uh, the roots as a um, research problem. Oh, it has gone out, is it? Can you see? There, right? OK. So the tree roots, I'm comparing with research problem. Uh, if, 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 if a tree having problem, uh, then um, uh, you will see at the top, uh, possibly the leaves will be uh, yellowish or leaves will be dropping. But the problem definitely comes from the root, possibly because of the quality of the soil, quality of the water, you know, uh, uh, lack of water and uh, possibly fertilizations are needed, all that. You've got to identify what is affecting. So research problem will like that. Uh, research problem got to be identified from where it is occurring. The root of the problem got to be identified. If the root of the problem in the society then we have to identify them from the society. If it's affecting the industry, then you've got to look at the industry and see how it is affecting the industry and so on, OK? And I'm comparing the body of a tree with theoretical framework, uh, because that decide, you know, basically uh, your subsequent stages of research. So in a tree, if it is, uh, the body is strong, then it will be able to carry the branches of the tree and the fruits. If you have a lot of fruits and heavy fruits, then the body got to be stronger, OK? So uh, then the underpinning theory, uh, when you have the branches of it, the tree, I'm comparing with that with the underpinning theories. In a research, uh, got to be supported by theories. It could be supported by one theory. We call it underpinning theory. Uh, there could be a few more theories. We call it supporting theories. So main theory, we call it underpinning theory. The supporting the other theories, we call it supporting theory. So in a tree, you can have a stronger branches. That will be main theory. And the other branches of a tree will be supporting theories. And the leaves of the tree that actually beautify the tree, whether a tree looks beautiful or not, it depends on uh, uh, the leaves, you know, the, the size of the leaves, the color of the leaves, and all that. So in a research, literature review basically beautifies your research. Uh, when you are writing a paper or you are writing PhD draft or any research draft, the beautification of the draft is made by research uh, literature review, whereby you look at previous research and then you show it, all right, uh, to people that people have done this and uh, that's what is missing, you know, and you want to do something uh, from there. And your contribution of research, I compare that with uh, the trees of, uh, sorry, the fruits of a tree. So the fruits of a tree is basically tells you uh, what you get from the tree, okay? So, uh, 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 a research outcome would be like a fruit of the tree, okay? So if a tree having problem at the root, definitely you may not get the right kind of fruit that you'd like to get. It is the same for a research. If a, a research having problem, you know, we have problem identifying, formulating research problem, then you will have problem of getting the right outcome, okay? So these all are the nuts, I call them. Huh? These all are the nuts. These all are the nuts uh, of, of research. Okay, and uh, uh, the data collection got to be from the root, and then your data quality and robustness of analysis, that will fix the problem of the tree, right? Uh, when you collect data, definitely look at the root of the tree. You look at whether the soil are too uh, uh, solid, whether there's lack of water, whether you need some nutrition, uh, some fertilizers, and all that. So you have to collect the data from there. So in research, we will collect the data from where the problem is rooted. All right, where the problem is rooted. So if the problem is rooted in the industry, you've got to collect the data from the industry. If the problem is rooted among individuals, like employee, you collect the data from in individuals, the employee. If the problem is rooted among the organization, then we collect data from organization. So that's how we look at eh? the problem uh, research data got to be collected from where the problem is rooted. Otherwise, the purpose of doing research should be uh, just defeated, okay? Mm -hmm.